efforts to help establish central authority and secure friendship with neighboring countries. The long and stable reign of the second Rugalpo greatly strengthened these gains. It was to be the 20 years reign of the third Rugalpo that would mark the crucial period of transition to modern development and wider international exposure. The Crown Prince Chigmito Jumachu was born on the May 2nd of 1928 at Tripang Palace near the Tong Sa Zong. His early education at the palace school included Hindi and English languages besides traditional subjects in Buddhist literature. And in keeping with the tradition, the Crown Prince had an early start in his training at the royal court of his father. He received practical instructions from his father and the court officials on Bhutan's rich tradition of customs and etiquette. In 1943, he was awarded the red scarf and made the Tongsa Donier. Later, the Crown Prince went to Kalimpong in India for a year and then to Great Britain for further studies. The second Rukelpo had well realized that a future ruler of Bhutan must be given a broader education and be exposed to wider horizons. On his return to Bhumthang in 1950, the Crown Prince was appointed the Parapendo and the following year he met Aji Kezang Chodin, the younger daughter of Gongzim Sonam Tokge Doji and Princess Choying Wang Modoji. Both Ugen Doji and his son Sonam Tokge Doji had served the first two kings of Bhutan with outstanding devotion and loyalty. When Sonam Tokge Doji died in 1952, his eldest son Jigmi Doji, who had earlier been appointed Hadrungpa, inherited the position of Bhutan agent and Gongzim. When Drukyalpo Jigmi Wanchu passed away in 1952, the crown prince Jigmi Doji Wanchu succeeded to the throne as the third king of Bhutan. As the third Drukyalpo, His Majesty assumed the positions of head of state and government, the commander-in-chief of the army and the ultimate appeal. As the third Drukyalpo of Bhutan, he shifted the royal court from Bumthang to western Bhutan where his coronation was held. Soon after the coronation ceremonies, the royal court moved to Thimpu, which then became the permanent national capital of Bhutan. The Dechin Choling Palace was built at Kashinang, north of Thimpu Zong, as the new private residence of the royal family. Soon after his ascension to the throne, the new Drugalpo made an extensive tour of the kingdom and began to implement land reforms aimed at directly benefiting the vast majority of his subjects. The ownership of land was brought down to a maximum of 30 acres surplus land redistributed to the landless. His Majesty reduced land taxes and granted tax exemptions to the poorer section of the population. His Majesty then launched a systematic effort to abolish the practice of slavery and serfdom, which had prevailed since the 17th century in Bhutan. The strategy was to grant freedom to the serfs without hurting the sentiments of their landlords. A royal kasho issued by the king gave all serfs the freedom to renounce their servitude and leave their masters without fear of retribution. And at the same time, the traditional rights of the landlords were fully protected. All those who wished to leave their masters were required to settle themselves in areas away from their old geoks where the royal government would grant them land. These serfs were also forbidden to take with them any property including their houses which belonged to their masters. Thousands of serfs reached the Chincholing Palace from all over the kingdom for grant of land. Many thousands from Punakha, Wangdi Podrang, and Paro settled in Thimpu as full-fledged tax-paying citizens. And similarly, 
former serfs in other regions of the kingdom found new life in their different places where they started living as a free citizen.